Hello, my name is Anthony Tosco. I am the owner and daily operator of Avanti Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Uh, we're located in the suburbs near Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, we're at a customer's home today working on some preventative maintenance. So when we do these preventative maintenance, I usually like to break it down in steps. I typically like the homeowner to be there. This way I could kind of show them what they're exactly paying for and what service they're actually getting. So the first thing I do is I look at the mechanical system just to make sure that everything is in good working order, there's no leaks, there's no signs or anything else that needs immediate attention. Uh, once that is done, uh, on this particular vessel, we're gonna re be replacing two antiquated system pumps. Uh, we're gonna be introducing some new Taco uh, ECM pumps. Once we drain down the system, then we're able to take out the old pumps, put in the new pumps. We'll energize the system again. We will have to purge the system because at that point we did introduce uh, oxygen in the system, so we want to make sure we take all the air out of the system. Once we're done with that step, the next step would be to take apart the heat exchanger. It is uh, a modern condensing boiler, so we do have to clean the heat exchangers yearly because the way they operate, they have a venturi. What does that mean? That basically means that during the process of you know combustion, we're pulling in fresh air as we're pulling in gas. Well. You know, fresh air has pollen, has leaves, it could have branches. You know, we're bringing all these other particles in, so we want to make sure that that is clean. Also, as you know, your your boiler condenses throughout the heating season, it does tend to get buildup on the heat exchanger. So to maintain that efficiency, we do have to scrub the heat exchanger down, uh, flush it with water, make sure that everything's draining through properly. Um, after we do that, we also check the condensate. We also check the neutralizer because condensate on condensing boilers is very acidic. Let's say it's on a pH scale, maybe four or three, almost similar to, let's say, orange juice. So the reason why we utilize a neutralizer is just to balance that out. Once we're done with uh, the neutralizer, we'll go ahead and put the heat exchanger back. Um, reconnect all our flame sensors, igniters, everything else that we took apart. And then once we commission the vessel, we have to perform the combustion test. Because we need to make sure that, you know, our oxygen, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, all of those important pieces are right where they should be up to manufacturer standards. And that's typically the process for a yearly service agreement when you're working on a modern condensing boiler.